Nature works in mysterious ways. Most of us don't understand the different phases that we go through in our life, but in the end, it all makes sense. Although in everyone's life story, there are chapters that no one understands. But that is life, and nothing is calculated. The story that I'm going to tell you today is such an incident that left a whole family shocked. Mr. Han was an owner of a swimming school in Tohoku, Japan. He was a man in his late 30s. A few months earlier, he had moved to the Pacific Coast after buying a new home by a local property dealer. Mr. Han was married and had a four-year-old kid. His wife Sakura helped him in his work and together they had a very calm and happy life. Moving to their new home was like a dream come true. The couple had saved for many years and cut expenses so one day they could afford their dream house near the beach. Their new home was modest and simple, but it was all they ever wished for. The couple was extremely happy, and since the swimming school of Mr. Han was just in the vicinity, nothing could have been better. One night, Sakura suddenly woke up in the middle of the night and heard the chirping of a bird from their balcony. She calmly got up from the bed and pulled the curtain slightly to one side. A bird with red stripes on its wings and a light-colored body was sitting on one of the flower pots. Sakura tried to make the bird fly away, but just then Mr. Han woke up. Mr. Han got up and saw Sakura standing by the window. He called her, but she called Mr. Han towards her with a gesture of her hand. Just as Mr. Han approached the window, his eyes suddenly filled with astonishment. He immediately turned on the lights of the room, and just then the bird flew away. Sakura looked at the blank face of her husband and asked him if he was okay. He asked Sakura to wait and he opened the cabinet on one side of the bed. He took out the family photo album and scrolled through the pictures of his family. He stopped at one picture and showed it to Sakura. It was a black and white photograph of his late grandmother. She had passed away a few years ago. Sakura did not understand the reason for showing her that photograph. Mr. Han pointed towards a tree beside his grandmother in that picture. A similar bird sat on one of the branches of the tree. In his childhood, his grandmother used to tell him a story about how the robbers one day came to their house and this bird chirped until his grandfather got up and somehow managed to call the police. Sakura was also amazed because she had never seen such birds before in that area. Mr. Han checked the whole house but nothing was out of the ordinary, so they both went back to sleep. The next morning, Mr. Han and Sakura prepared breakfast together just as they had done since their marriage, and sat on the breakfast table. Their young child was still asleep, so they were the only ones having breakfast. Sakura was very much intrigued by last night's incident, and told Han that maybe they should visit the grave of his grandmother. Mr. Han was very attached to his grandmother, but had not visited her grave since her death. He thought for a while that maybe he should visit her, but it was a long way from his new home. However, at last the couple decided to leave for a visit the next morning. Bags were packed and Mr. Han and Sakura, along with their child, started their journey. It was a 17-hour ride from their home. Mr. Han reached his parents' house late at night and the next morning went to the grave of her grandmother with his father. The parents of Han were still alive and lived an hour's ride away from the cemetery. Han explained the incident to his father that had occurred and his father was shocked as well. On reaching the cemetery, Mr. Han and his father were standing near the grave when they saw the same bird sitting on the gravestone. Han had never believed in ghosts, but a cold wave of fear went through his body just as he saw the bird. He grabbed the hand of his father who was still looking quite calm. Just then, the phone started ringing and he saw that Sakura was calling him. There were 15 missed calls that he had not noticed. He picked up the call, but what he was about to hear was going to change his life. It was March 11th, 2011, and a huge wave of the tsunami had hit the shore, destroying everything in its path. Mr. Han could not stand on his two feet after hearing the news. Although he had insured his new home and school, the loss was too great for him. On reaching his parents' home, Sakura was waiting at the door. She immediately hugged Han and thanked God that if they were still there, they would have been killed in that destructive catastrophe. More than 15,000 people lost their lives and their property to that natural disaster, but Mr. Han thanked God that he and his family were safe. At such times, we recognize the true value of things. In the end, nothing matters except the well-being of the people that we love. Nature has mysterious ways of saving us from calamities, but many of us ignore the silver lining.